How's it going? Hello, I'm back making another video for you guys on my channel. I have a personal update. Um, if you've been wondering where I've been, um, I know I didn't make a video all that long ago, but when, if you have been wondering, just in you know, general, um, I got a new job. Beforehand, I was working fast food at Chick-fil-A as a manager, and it was just really a stressful environment for me, and not exactly what I wanted to do, so um, I branched out. Um, I applied for a job, and it's a sales rep job, and so far, I'm loving it. But, you know, a part of my new job in the training process was I had to do video calls every day for my training. Now, as you can see, I have a pretty, you know, very nice setup behind me. You know, nice window setup, the RTX 3080, i7, 7, 10700K, you know, the good stuff. And, you know, for the first couple of days, I was... I was sitting here, you know, right in front of the screen for about three and a half hours each day, just doing whatever training work they had me doing. Basically, it was just me listening to my trainer all day. But I know this is like a major first world problem, but I was starting to get fatigued sitting in this chair for three and a half hours looking at this screen. And it made me jealous because in my other room over there, I have a king size bed. But my only problem was. I didn't have a laptop. I mean, we have a home laptop, we just haven't touched it in months because it's a oldish Dell or HP, I don't know what brand it is, Windows laptop, so I haven't really touched it. It's mainly my wife's anyway, so I didn't really want to bother with it too much. But I've been wanting a Mac, MacBook Pro, for a very long time. So I got the guts, um, put a business proposal to my wife so that I could buy one. Um, she said yes. So today I'm going to be talking about the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. There you go. <laughs> now if you're asking the main reason why I bought it, um, the main reason is just because I wanted something powerful but also portable. And MacBooks, especially the M series MacBooks, are especially known for that. What I was really excited about it most is being able to video edit on the go and you know do my YouTube thumbnails on the go. So um, this entire video that you're watching right now is completely edited on this MacBook. Um, hopefully, me editing will be a fun process. Um, but I I have used MacBooks before. The last one I remember owning was like a 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch. In today's age, too, not back then, more like last year. <laughs> you know, it was fine. You know, it was definitely, definitely slow. Um, it's kind of weird how we used to use, you know, computers back then in 2013. I mean, granted, we didn't have crazy video content creation back in 2013 as we do now, but still, back then, like, even just like going through the OS is slow, even on an SSD, so. You know, it's just it's just interesting. But I gave that MacBook away to my sister for her schoolwork because she's she you know needed it for her EMT classes. So I thought she needed it more than I did at least. So that left me MacBookless, laptopless, if you will, for me personally. <laughs> but over the past couple days, something magical happened. Best Buy had the MacBook M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch for. $1,600. $1,600. That is $400 off the regular MSRP. On this beast of a machine, I had to pounce on it. And I did, and I'm so happy that I have it. So uh, let me just go ahead and run down of a few things I've noticed. Number one, MagSafe. Literally, MagSafe is awesome, mainly because it um, frees up the ports that we have on the MacBook Pro nowadays. Um, beforehand, it was just two. Now we have full HDMI, full three Thunderbolt 4 ports, and an SD card slot. That's very useful because right now I'm recording my audio off my mic onto an SD card, and this, this is awesome. Um, but yeah, but thanks to MagSafe, I can have all those ports readily available to me, even if I don't technically even need them. But uh, yeah, the I.O. I feel like is pretty great. You know, I wish they had USB-A, and I know USB-A is slowly dying out, and it's not as useful as it used to be, but there are still products released today that have it. So, well, for the most part, this won't be Dongle Book Pro. I still will need a dongle just for USB-A accessory, which is a little unfortunate, but I think it's okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But plus, you can find those, like, 
really cheap dongles on Amazon that work great. You know, I have one that has like three USB-A ports, another Thunderbolt, SD card slot, HDMI, Ethernet, you know, that kind of thing. So, so if you want one of those, I'll link one in the description if you want to. But um, yeah, let's move on to this gorgeous display. So when I first opened the MacBook Pro and was setting it up, one thing that struck out to me was how bright this screen is. So with the screen is called the uh, Liquid Retina XDR display and it can peak at 1600 nits, which is pretty insane. So this thing is amazing with HDR content and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Like I cannot overstate how good this display is. And honestly, it's pretty top notch. Look, bad pun aside, the side, look, I know that the notch is there. Um, it hasn't bothered me like at all. It's in the menu bar, but one thing I find just weird about it is that the mouse just goes completely under it, like that, under. That makes no sense to me. Why don't I just jump to the other side, you know? Whatever, but uh, with the, all the apps I've used in the menu bar, they've always jumped to over here, so it hasn't really been an issue for me at all in terms of that. So while I wish the notch wasn't that big, especially because it only has a camera in there and that's it, it doesn't bother me. So I guess I can't knock too much points off of it. And plus it's pretty recognizable. I guess the notch is an Apple thing these days. <laughs> but another thing about, the, another thing that I noticed with this is that the speakers on here are pretty incredible. Like they don't have much bass in them at all. So if you're looking for thumping bass heavy music okay it's not good for that but literally everything else like the mids and the highs are like so clear you know i'm i could like watch a marquez brownlee video and his voice sounds amazing and like just the sound design you can really appreciate sound design on these speakers i feel like because they just sound so good especially for a laptop too so uh, speakers are an incredible selling point especially for these things now granted the only laptop speakers i've ever heard was like cheaper Dell or HP speakers. So I don't have much experience with other laptop speakers, but I feel like these should outclass pretty much anything else on the market. Another thing is too, is the battery life. You know, I, I, I've watched many videos on YouTube about this product and they always say how great the battery life is. You know, I came from a 2012 MacBook, as I said before, and that battery died within an hour. Okay, that's a little overdramatic, more like, an hour and a half, but still, I was, I'm used to laptops that just die on me because, well, x86. But the power of M1 and it being an ARM chip is so power efficient. And literally, I was on a conference call for about three and a half hours today, started at 10. The time right now is two o'clock and the battery percentage is at 71%. I can do a whole bunch of stuff on this thing still. I can watch hours of YouTube still like I have I can do so much with that battery life you know I have 71% left after doing hours upon hours of me having you know streaming video you know signals from the other end and you know someone streaming their screen to me and also me having my you know talking and having my voice on having an app open at all times like I don't know this battery is really impressive and I know it gets better with the you know M2 or an M1 MacBook Airs but still for a pro machine that's pretty great. Another thing I'll have to mention is just Mac OS. You know Windows you're pretty solid. I'll call you solid. You're not bad. You know you support all the games I like so I like you for that but there is nothing else like the smoothness of Apple's own software like this butter smooth you know and i was super excited with the screen too is because it has 120 hertz pro motion technology so apple smoothness with a high refresh rate screen this is just bound to be a beautiful package and let me tell you it is and you know things like safari browsing on safari is super quick speedy you no know, just the overall mac os package is amazing I love it, it looks gorgeous, and honestly, I love it. And now, I mentioned before, I said speed. This M1 Pro is pretty quick, if I must say. Like, everything I've thrown at it so far, whether it be like 10 tab, 10 Safari tabs, or open playing YouTube videos while also doing a conference call because, well, I had my mic muted, so I thought I'd test it. Handle it with charm. You know, I could easily switch between the two apps and nothing 
no, no problems. And the spec I have is the 8 core CPU, 14 core GPU with 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. Now, people might be concerned with the 16 gigs of RAM, mainly because it's unified memory, so it shares between the CPU and the GPU, but I haven't noticed any dips in quality um, thanks to that, which I think 16 gigabytes anyway is, you know, good enough for what I do with my life anyway. You know, when it comes to video editing, I'm not too crazy when it, when it comes to my video editing. So I feel like with this, it's gonna be just amazing and smooth. And I already know it is because I used to, I, even on my 2012 MacBook, the editing process was pretty, for what the computer was, pretty okay. So I have high hopes for this thing. And uh, of course, editor Brian will let you know if, he's, if it's doing good. <laughs> editing Brian here, and yes, it's run like a charm. It's super smooth. It's honestly, it's better than my gaming PC that I have. Like, it is slightly a lot smoother. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe this is just a problem with my computer I need to look at, but I don't know. But this computer is really, it's amazing. Like, there's no hiccups at all. Like, with my PC, I have a lot of hiccups, like, all the time. So it's a little annoying. But as you can see, I'm using the camera on the MacBook right now, and you're also hearing the mic, so uh, yeah. The camera, it is what it is, but I think the mic sounds pretty good, so. Pretty solid overall. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now on this machine. I'll do a review probably in a month and see if I still like it or not, but this has been the first impressions of the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch. Well, thanks to everyone for watching this video. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want. Right now, I have over 240 subscribers. So thanks to everybody. I thank every. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. You know, I'm just a little humble side project, but um, I enjoy this. I enjoy making videos for my audience. And hey, if you liked it, you know, go ahead and like it. But if you didn't like it and you have something to critique me on, go ahead. Let me know in the comments. And if you press the dislike button. It's okay with me. Uh, I allow everything here, so I won't get mad at you in the comments or anything. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.